Doug. And the geese are gonna leave here when they see me go out. Oh, they're not gonna like this. The magoon is full of Canada geese. Full. My God, there's a lot of. She <laughs> didn't. You're all excited, eh? We're going out. I'm a little bit stiff today, folks, because I'm painting with a paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm, I, uh, I'm painting, well, yes, it was all virgin rough, weather beaten wood, so I'm a little bit tired, but today's the last day of painting. Last day. Last day. I'm going to put the windows in today. Final coat of black paint, and we're done. The barn and the goose shed look spadorky. He's got just a little bit of a hole in his back leg. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. He's quite excited about going outside. He's liking it. Are you going to screw the duck rush up or are you just going to freak the geese out? Oh, you're awful talking. No, we're not going out that door. Put my old winter hat on because the wind. We got a bit of a wind here. It's... Sorry about that, folks. So many people are missing the morning episode here. This morning, I actually moved camera. I set the camera up last night to capture the Canada geese this morning, and everybody sat at the water station. We had stream number two set up to uh, capture it all tomorrow. I'm going to try to capture the landing, but it's supposed to be raining, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, I've got to switch. <laughs> I got I got a little bit, uh, look at this. Are you excited about going out? Hmm? Are you? I think he is. Okay, I got to switch networks, folks, so we're going to go dark here for a second. Bear with me. Bear with me here. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Okay. I bet you the Canada geese are flying away. Oh, they're looking. Uh, I think they're going to take off here. I'm thinking they're not going to like this here shortly. All right, well, let's let the ducks out. Oh, look at this.
Okay. It's actually uh, warmed up more than I thought it was. I looked at the thermometer and it said that it was seven degrees, but it's a lot warmer than seven. Okay, I'm back. She's looking really good. That, eh? that looks that looks like a brand new shed, doesn't it? What do you think? Look how shiny that paint is, huh? It's not an oil paint, it's a polymer. So it's actually a coating of plastic. Um, it actually feels like plastic, folks. Well, it's actually polymer, that's what it is. It's right in the can. It's just too bad the uh, the, the shed's so dented up. Uh, like it's an old shed. It's probably pushing 40 years old. But she looks good. So, okay, so that's that. Um, here, we're gonna open some gates here. Painted the doors, the gable. I need a shot of that. I gotta get happening here because uh, today is the final day of painting here for two reasons. One, it's the last day of painting because that's what is gonna happen here. This, I'm down to my last, uh, I've got about either three fifths or two thirds of a gallon of paint, and that's gonna be applied today, the final coat. I'm gonna install the windows in the uh, the barn. So the windows are back in, get the electric fence running again. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I might not even be wearing a jacket here shortly. Well, the can of geese are still here, folks. That's really strange. Usually they take off when I come outside. That's why I've been holding off coming out in the mornings because I'm up watching them through the window and I actually had to uh, close my lines in the kitchen because when I was walking around the kitchen it was freaking some of them out and they left well they did a whole bunch left this morning when they saw me walking around the kitchen so what I'm going to try to do tonight we'll see what the weather's like I'm leaving the other camera out I'm going to reposition it and I'm going to run a dedicated stream which I'll start probably about 10 after 7 uh, and capture them all flying in because the camera points at the lake and this morning the noise was unbelievable of them coming in and that's when I realized I'd, I was still in bed I should have been uh, look at this my tub's all man that building hey eh? that paint okay so I painted this door Oh, look at that, folks. Oh, look at that. Hey, is that shiny stuff or what? Hey? Doug, it's a crow. Hmm? It's going to take a lot. It's going to take quite a few days to dry. It's tacky right now, but I can put a second coat on it. But, uh, yeah, it's still tacky. Can you see the, the, the reflection? Is that wild? So I did the whole door right to the bottom. On the outside. So that's going to get another coat today. It's going to take a week to dry at least in this weather. Okay. Well, yeah, I did the inside of the barn. Somebody emailed me last. Open. <laughs> I painted it. Because uh, it gets all wet in the wintertime and the door gets soaking wet. So I thought to myself, I'm going to fix this. So that uh, everything's wet. This will be dry today. It's not getting a second coat because it's inside. Oh. This is getting a second coat. Folks, this door right here, just the door, nothing else, like not the frame, just the door took almost a half a gallon of paint. The, the wood was so dry, the paint just disappeared. Like, it, it's like, I'll just show you. You can see the It'll be shiny. It'll be shiny. As you can see, spots where the paint shiny, that's where it was. It stayed in the surface, but everywhere else, it sucked. So, 
Well, look at that, eh? Does that look awesome? I gotta get farther away. I'm so impressed by uh, this paint. What a difference, eh? Look at that. The shiny roof. <laughs> You'd almost think I was a little bit uh, OCD how everything matches here on the property, eh? Beautiful day though. Oh yeah, I'm not going to need to get here. That's good. I had to wear gloves, uh, which makes it harder. Is that nice and shiny stuff? I wish I wouldn't have ran out of paint though. I could have really got it thick. So I really would have liked it a little thicker to fill in all these cracks and get her like totally. Because the front, like here, you can see it's totally smooth. She's totally sealed. But this is sealed nice and thick. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but this is going to make it so much easier to keep the building clean. Because it's a, it's actually a polymer paint. It's pl it's plastic. And, uh, you know, stuff is not going to stick to it. So today the wheels go in. And I wish I have a new white window here. Because I had to buy a new window. Because the old window was broken. The one that I built for the hole. And it turned out I saved a broken window for 15 years. So there's a brand new window going in there that's white to match these two on the front that are white so it's all gonna match and then on the top you can't really see how shiny it is because the sun's not hitting it yet but I've got to uh, I got to put one more coat of paint up there and then I've got to touch the roof up today which I have uh, aluminum paint left over and I've got to because I put down a drop cloth and I as you can see the you probably can't see it here well, here I'll zoom in I'll go this way Oh yeah, you can see it now, okay? So I masking tape the edge of the roof, but there's like, I put droplets of paint all over it. So, but so today I'm gonna to touch that up. And all of this to get completed today, because tomorrow is 11 degrees and rain. So that's what uh, I've been doing. That's why I've been disappeared. That's why I haven't been streaming, because I've been living with paint. Oh, they're gonna even. I knew they wouldn't stay too long. The other ones are going to leave shortly. They're talking. They're like, we're out of here. I probably got to put more corn down. Alright, so I'm going to get hopping in here because uh, I got to paint. I put windows in. They do egg recon too. So uh, it's coming together. She's, she's looking like a finished operation here. I just can't, I just, I'm amazed. At night with the lights shining and it sparkles, it looks pretty good. And I gotta touch the roof up. I got, I, yesterday I, I wore, I had to wear Crocs on the roof after I screwed the roof up. I went on with my work boots and because the paint's just not hardened up enough yet, my, my boots were making marks. I'm really happy the way it's looking though. What a lot of work though. I figured this morning it's been, since I started prepping, um, today is like day 10 of painting just these two buildings getting them all done it's looking good though all right i'm gonna say goodbye because i've got to go and uh do a recon and then uh get the paint action happening and get basically covered in paint again today so have a great day talk to you later